Have you ever imagined the worst place to be during an earthquake? Well, shockingly, many of the facilities that are supposed to care for victims are among the most dangerous. Dave Malkoff has more on that in part two of our KTLA series, Earthquakes, Are You Ready? So we've already shown you the most earthquake-proof building in Los Angeles, and it stands to reason there's quite a few that fall into the risky category. Drive through East LA someday and you'll notice it. The handmade tile work on the outside. The, car, the, the hand-painted murals from the 60s depicting the history of nursing on the inside. Uh, at one point, a lot of these were pulled off and looked like they were going to be destroyed. But the staff here at Doctors Hospital on Whittier Boulevard save those old murals. Yeah, because we are a community hospital. They're also using parts of the original building. The hospital itself didn't really start until the early 50s. The hospital is actually made up of several different buildings from several decades linked together. So this, this was used to be outside uh -huh. until they connected the two yeah. buildings. The state of California has a strict set of quake proofing standards, and East LA Doctors is part of this giant list of California hospitals that don't measure up because their buildings are old. Well, one of the issues is that there's always a potential for the entire hospital to collapse or parts of the hospital to collapse. More than half the hospitals in California, 52%, have similar problems. East LA Doctors has asked the state for more time to either move into a modern building or retrofit the old place. Neither is easy. Put even the paint. You have to think about fumes, you have to think about how long it would take for a patient to be able to enter into it. Here in LA, there are basically two different kinds of concrete buildings. There's the kind that were built between 1933 and 1977, and the kind that were built after, modern buildings. Now to see the difference, you'd almost have to go into the building and peel it apart so you can see the concrete reinforcement inside. Now the older kind is called non-ductile concrete. This newer kind has far more steel reinforcement and it's far more dense than the non-ductile kind. Let me show you what happens when you actually shake a non-ductile concrete building. Now watch the legs on this non-ductile concrete building. There it goes. It broke apart, buckled under this shake test in Japan. Berkeley scientists did the same kind of test and got similar results. The old kind of concrete is more likely to crumble. And there are thousands of buildings just here in L.A. that were built in that old style, mostly downtown or along the Wilshire Corridor. Now L.A. City Council member Greg Smith wants to update the building codes, retrofit these places, and start posting letter grades on buildings, just like we have for restaurants. An A would stand in a big earthquake and an F would not. And we also have a medical surgical area. Here at Doctors Hospital, since patients are in a section that's only on one floor, the risk is low and the retrofit simply isn't in the budget. Any retrofit, any retrofit for any building is going to be expensive because you have to start at the structure, which is usually the foundation. We've certainly come a long way since their day, but even in 2011, quake-proofing a building is still tough. In East L.A., Dave Malkoff, KTLA 5 News. What happens to the real estate value of a building with an F? Oh, it's not going to be good and only can make it worse, a right? A lot of them out there. Don't yeah. miss part three of our earthquake series. Tomorrow night, Dave investigates what's being done to detect oceanic earthquakes and life-threatening tsunamis. That's tomorrow night. All right. Well, coming up, a shocking...